Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll need your book. Thank you. Let me know what you think. It was different. It was different. Never thought yeah. anything like that. Up, up here, were they having a D1 service then when you no, came? No, they were done, but they had Babaji there. Babaji, yes. I think was under that uh, uh, cover day. It was like a garage or something. Garage, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's really, you know, and they do this tantric yoga and dancing and everything right in the Dabar where they, where they open up this garage door and then they do all this dancing. Oh, it's really, I have YouTube videos on it. It's really sacrilegious. I, I really have a big objection to the well, way well, What is the basis for this tantric uh, stuff? <laughs> well, it's based in Hindu, um, you know, lineage or whatever. I mean, Yogi Bhajan was more of a Hindu than a Sikh, uh -huh. I have to say. You know, and I'm, I'm not really against Hindus, okay? Believe me. But if you're going to be a Sikh, practice Sikhi, okay? And not Hinduism. That's that's my, you know... Take on that. Yeah, that's that's right. So he and brought all these things into, you know, what I grew up when I was when I was in my early 20s. I talk about it in the book. You'll, you'll uh -huh. see about it. But I was at university, and so I took started taking yoga classes. I was interested in health and being and everything. I was a Christian uh -huh. before. So... Um, you know, I, I really wanted to belong to a community and, and everything, and I, I wanted to have some guidance, things like that. So I hooked into this group in Eugene, Oregon, up there. And uh, so it sort of developed like that. I And so Yogi Bhajan had kind of integrated Sikhi with the yoga, and it's just a mishmash. Um, one uh, Sikh scholar described it as a synthetic Sikhism. <laughs> yeah. No, it was different. I mean, I never thought... Yeah. Were they doing yoga in the big... They were going to do. I see. Yeah, they were laying all down there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Different. yeah. So, so, like I said, what they do is there's like a garage door that opens, and then they use that area there under that shelter. They use that whole thing for the um, D1 services. And they do that... Um, it's Yes, it's a whole week. Yeah. Now, do they own this land or they rent it? Um, they own it. Oh, yeah, and interestingly, it, sadly, I should say, the money came from somebody that w the money was stolen from. You know, over a million dollars, somebody's inheritance that, that this woman gave to Yogi Bhajan, just, you know, and, and he, he really conned her out of the money. And now she's living in a trailer, you know, like in a, in a van in California, you know. So are they thinking of building a Luana? No, they're going to leave it like this. They, they, uh, they bring uh, Guru Saab down the hill after this event is all over. And so then they bring Guru Saab to the... Um, uh, yeah, to the, what they, they call it the Guru Ram Das Ashram down there. So um, there's issues about that whole place. I mean, I've told you, they keep Yogi Bhajan's picture there. Yeah, they, they don't keep Guru Saab in proper precaution at all. Um, they, they, um, um, they keep an English version in precaution, but there's nobody attending. No, no Prakash, no Sukhasan. It, so do you know, they have like uh, another Gurdwara in Santa Fe or no? No, no. The only other Gurdwara in New Mexico that I know about is down in Albuquerque. Okay. Yeah, and I'll to be honest with you, <laughs> I was going, my wife and I were going there for a while, but then um, they, uh, they, they didn't like me wearing my handgun, and uh, so they put signs up saying no firearms, so I, I've never gone back. They won't even... And that Gurdwara, they won't even allow Shastras, you know, Kirpans, you know, you can wear it, but you, nothing on Guru Saab, you know, no, you know how in a proper Gurdwara they have Shastras and, and weapons, they won't allow any, you know, so New Mexico has really got, I'm, I'm thinking about building my own Gurdwara, I've got land down here, and not my Gurdwara, but I, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about um, uh, building a Gurdwara, and, and then, um, I want to invite proper Sikhs to come and, and then try to teach, you know, proper teach uh, Sikhi and Rehat Mariata. That's my idea. You know, so. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you get my phone number? I got the book. The book, book. I don't think the, it's in the by book. But anyway, um, you can look it up online. We'll find you online. Yeah, yeah. Give me a call. Um, I'm curious how things go for you. And um, if you, you go to Joda's, you know, that Gurdwara there, I forget, is it? Guru Nanak. It's the Guru Nanak Gurdwara. Uh, Gurdwara, yeah, yeah. It's a very beautiful Gurdwara. It is. Yeah. They just built it. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So I going there, you know. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, it looks like uh, the times we go, they do the same way, you know. 
Oh yeah, I, I told you. I said Jodas Singh is pretty much follows proper Sikhi and and Rat Mariata. Um, so and he has he has um, his uh, family and everything yeah. uh, there and everything. So so I I can't I can't fault him. <laughs> okay, why is Kasa? Why did you give